I'm here with my buddy, Philip Williams, and uh, I'd like to encourage you to watch the Phil Williams show, and you can go to PatriotInsights.com. All right. Appreciate you. It is that time for my response to a tweet. And today's tweet says, The pipe dream of a third party shows you are on the pipe. And it guarantees Hillary. Hashtag Trump 2016. The pipe dream of a third party shows you are on the pipe. And guarantees Hillary. Hashtag Trump 2016. Wow. Wow. I guess it probably takes one to know one. Since maybe you smoking too. I don't know what it is. But anyway, here's my response to your tweet. Our two-party system, we have the Democrats and we have the Republicans. Now, the same two-party system has given us two of the most corrupt people in America as our choice for president. This is what they've given us, Hillary or Donald. Now, one of them, Hillary, on the Democratic side, corrupt, taking money from big business, corporations, all these kind of things. Can't articulate anything other than being a woman, other than being Bill Clinton's president, I mean wife, and things of this nature. Can't really articulate one thing she's done for the American people. She admires Margaret Sanger, the head of Planned Parenthood, who is openly a white supremacist and Ku Klux Klan member and two-thirds of their murdering places is in our community killing our black babies and she admires her and things but anyway that's what's on one side then on the Republican side we got this guy Donald Trump this dude's a narcissist this dude is is a swindler a con man he's a misogynist he's everything Hillary but he's one of Hillary Clinton's number one supporters Donated millions of dollars to the Democratic side. Now he's representing the Republicans. And so now we have these two parties saying that a third party is like suicide. And now I'm smoking and crack. I'm on the pipe because I'm an advocate for a third party. But here's where I'm going to throw you a bone. Mr. Detox Diagnoser of who's on crack and who's not. I agree. We shouldn't go after the third party. No, no, everybody get all mad at me because I've been advocating third party. Here's why we shouldn't go after a third party. Because there's no two parties. It's all one party. They're all liberals. They're all Democrats. Why do you think that we've ended up where we're at with the two most corrupt people that support each other and everything that they support is liberal? The Republican National Committee is now trying to tell us to accept Trump. Why? Because they're not Republicans. They're all Democrats. All it takes to be a Republican is to sign a piece of paper. Hence, Donald Trump. There's only one party now. So I'm not advocating for a third party. I'm advocating for another party. Because the Republicans and the Democrats are all the same. They're all corrupt. They're all for big business. They're all for anybody but the American people. Now, there's going to be some disgruntled black people. You know, the ones up there getting poisoned in their water in Flint, Michigan, by the Democrats who's their leaders. Not Republicans. See, that's what Democrats have made you think, is that these Republicans are trying to kill all the black people. Um, sorry, Flint, Michigan's run by Democrats. Democrat blacks. Who, who was the ones? Was the Republicans the ones that redefined marriage? I don't have a problem with gay people. Hey, have, have, your, have a day. But now, aren't you forcing your ways on us? Isn't that what you're tripping on Christians doing, forcing their ways on you? But who is the party who redefined marriage? Who's the one that says, I have to let Monica King dingling in the bathroom with my daughter now? Who's the one that said that? It wasn't Republicans. Everything that you're upset about that's been happening in the open over the last eight years. Who's been in charge? Barack Obama's not going through Congress, so you can't blame it on the Republicans. 
But when it comes time for the Republicans to not f fund anything that Barack Obama's saying, why does it get funded? Because they're not Republicans, they're Democrats. People that signed pieces of paper and came over to the other side. You think there's two parties functioning. No, there's only one party functioning, and I'm an advocate for another party functioning. And I want to get all these disgruntled blacks that's being gunned down by other blacks while they live in Democratic-controlled cities, Baltimore, Chicago, Houston, ring a bell. That was Barack Obama's boy that was the mayor when that young black man got shot down in the street 16, 17 times by the police and covered it up. That was Barack Obama's boy. That was a liberal. That was a Democrat. Where was the Republican at? That's what that got you thinking. That the NRA is just running around. The NRA doesn't stand for National Rifles Association. You, they want you to believe that it stands for the Negro Reduction Association. It's not the NRA running around killing anybody. The gangs, the Crips and the Bloods, they're not, they don't have NRA cards. They have history and history of voting for Democrats. Don't believe me? Just go look. Go look at the cities with the highest concentration of gangs, functioning the most, killing our innocent kids, walking down the street with geometry books and calculus books, just going on their merry way, and they're getting gunned down because they don't want to be drug dealers. That's not Republicans. That's Democrats. And over the last eight years, who has been supporting all these policies? Marriage redefined. A boy and a girl redefined. The kid is five years old, so what if he wore something pink? That doesn't mean he wants to be Tinkerbell. How is he going to make a sexual decision like that, like it's normal, but it's abnormal for him to say, Mom, I want to play soccer this year, next year he wants to play basketball. You don't let him have those decisions. But when it comes to his sexuality now, all of a sudden, everybody is just so smart and brilliant. He's freaking five. Tinkerbell this week, next week, G.I. Joe. But where is this stuff happening? Where did Jesus go? Is the Republicans telling you not to pray? No, it's Democrats. Go look at your local neighborhood atheist. So now, who changed the library books in the high schools? Why is my baby reading Fifty Shades of Grey? Why? Why is my elementary school kid reading, I got two mommies and I'm a fish and you're a unicorn? Why is it, come on people, think about it. Who's doing it? Democrats. Who's running our school system now where this transgender thing is going wild? Make a third bathroom, fine. If you want to go in there and argue, go ahead, Monica, go in there. Hey, yeah, how you doing? Yeah, my armpit hairs is growing. I'm trying to get him to quit. Yes, you know, because, you know, my, my boobies is hurting. I mean, come on, man, shut up, dude. Don't bring that mess into a place where a dude is a dude and a girl is a girl. Go in your third bathroom, argue with your deep voice and your Adam's apple moving up and down. Have a nice day. I'm cool with that. But when you start forcing who you are on us, man, isn't that unfair? Isn't that what you're arguing about? But who's bringing that to us? Democrats. Did you know that the head of the Department of Education is the first person in Chicago to create an all-gay high school? Barack Obama's boy. They play hoop together. Now, I admire Barack Obama. Why? Because I'm a black man that sees the decimation of my black community. Why? Because the black dad is not in the household helping raise his black children. The president is married to his wife, raising his children, and trust me, I got nothing but love for you, bruh. But your policies suck. It's truly un-American. It's putting others against others. I don't want Black Lives Matter running around making it cool for my son to walk up and down the street and say, kill Whitey. Sorry, didn't end well for us when we didn't walk up and down the street and say, kill Whitey. What makes you think it's going to end up any better? Do you understand history? Now, we got one side getting the black folks to run up and down and jumping in white folks' face, and then we got Donald Trump resurrecting the Ku Klux Klan and white supremacy. How do you think this is going to fare well? There's a reason why we got rid of the Ku Klux Klan. There's a reason why we teach our young black children to be respectful. There's a reason why we try to get them to be focused on their grade grades versus the name name. Come on, people. There's a reason why all these things are happening to us right now. Because the Republicans and the Democrats are the same and we need another party. We need an American party. We need some people with morals and values. This is what needs to take place.
We need to understand that our young people are caught up in a violent time against each other that's unprecedented in the history of humanity. This is what needs to take place. We need to have all these disgruntled Americans, all these people that's frustrated at the two parties that's now functioning as one. And we need to propose an opposition to that so we can get the violence back down. We can get the child molestations back down. We can get the human trafficking unexistent. Hey, I'm Phil Williams, and that's my response to his tweet on the Phil Williams Show.